It has been more than two years since the death of George Floyd. Well, since then, police protocol around the country has been changed. In this month's Coffee with the Chief, I talked to the Plattsmouth Police Chief, Steve Rathman, about some of the modifications this state has made and the new training requirement for his officers. Uh, we have now there are certain things we have to have. We have to have officer wellness training. We have to have uh, implicit bias, racial profiling, minimum of two hours. That that's the only hour limit that they put on those uh, requirements. So there's just more training requirements, which is good because my entire career I have been pro training. Mm -hmm. Uh, my opinion is the more you can train your officers, the better they are and they can handle things. If these requirements aren't met, there could be some consequences, correct? If the requirement's not met, if their law enforcement um, ability to practice is suspended. Where it affects me as the chief of police is if they're suspended, they can't work and I need officers to cover the streets. So um, LB-51 also clarified the uh, revocation of law enforcement officers, uh, made it a little more clear it's easier to take their certification away from the ones that shouldn't be practicing law enforcement because law enforcement's no different than any other profession. Overwhelming number are great people, yeah. but you do have a few that should not be in this job. If you're getting in this profession because you want to be authoritative and power hungry over somebody, this is not the job for you. This job is to help people. It's to make your communities better. Speaking of making things better, that is very important to you and your department. Tell me about one of your, is it safe to say, your pet projects that you and your department get involved with? Yes. A few years ago, the state of Nebraska um, started the Pink Patch Project. I've worked with Project Pink over the years, and our partnership has blossomed. To the, the first year, I think, I was able to donate $4,000 to them. Uh, last year, my department designed a shirt, mm -hmm. worked with the community, and then we sold it mostly local mm -hmm. and we were able to donate $7,500. Wow. The largest we did. So we're already working on next year. What does that say about your department and your officers? They care. They, they care. We're not just here to enforce the law. We're not just here to give tickets. We're not here to just take people to jail. We're vested in our, we have, we have da daughters, we have wives, we have mothers. We, who may have been affected. If not, we know people who've been affected and it's just something that's near and dear to my heart and as long as I'm the chief in, in Plattsmouth, we will continue to partner with Project Paint. That's awesome. One final question because there's so much going on. I mean, you've got record high gas prices. You're trying to keep good officers. I hear that all the time. Um, rising COVID numbers are back up and then these school shootings, these mass shootings. What concerns you the most this day and time? It's a loaded question. Isn't yeah, it, it is. It is. Um, what's concerned me the most over my career is how society has changed. Oh. But it seems at times where we don't want to take accountability mm -hmm. for what's going on. Um, the school shootings recently, obviously in my profession, that's a that's a huge issue, and we're taking the steps we need to be to partner. We already partner with the schools, but to even increase our awareness on that, it just seems that people are not nearly as friendly, just uh, society has changed so much. When I was in my first five years of law enforcement, I could tell you what I thought society would look like in the next decade. I can't tell you that right now because we just, uh, we don't know what's going on or how it's gonna be. That's, that's the biggest concern uh -huh. for me. Our job is to get uncertainty under control. Well, some of these issues are out, out of our control. Uh, and we strive to do the best we can. Uh, when the chief first started his career some 31 years ago, he was like most officers. He wanted to save the world. Well, he says he still has that same mindset. After being chief for 12 years, he tells me what he still loves about the job. You can see our full conversation, and it was a good one on 3newsnow.com.